director of DEPV, her defends her divisive Netflix documentaries. This has been referred to as the first trial by TikTok. The court case John C. Depp, 2V, Amber Laura Heard, involving alleged defamation between actor exes Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, lasted more than six weeks and was aired live to the entire world from Virginia. Following that, Depp's army of fans used the power of the internet to their advantage by sharing an endless stream of videos on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and other social media sites that painted Depp in a favorable light and Heard in a negative one. Depp v. Heard, a three-part documentary by Emma Cooper that juxtaposes the statements of the two actors in order to investigate the trial and the surrounding clamor is currently available to stream on Netflix. I think this trial was the first one that showed how awful it can be and how dangerous it is, but I don't think we can argue for the genie to be put back in the bottle, says Emma Cooper to Rolling Stone. The basics are probably familiar to you. Heard was the subject of a Virginia defamation lawsuit filed by Depp following a Washington Post opus ed in which she identified herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse and spoke out against sexual violence. He then filed a counterclaim for defamation. She had already been given a temporary restraining order in 2016 after divorcing Depp and making abuse allegations in public. Depp then filed a claim against news group Newspapers Limited over a Sun article that labeled him a wife-beater and lost, with the judge finding that I have found that the great majority of the alleged assaults of Ms. Heard by Mr. Depp have been proved to the civil standard. Depp then traveled to Virginia, where neither of them had any connections and the Washington Post only had servers there, to clean his name because the state's anti-SLAPP rules, which defend citizens against defamation claims, are among the weakest in the nation. Depp was awarded $10.35 million in damages after the jury found Heard accountable on three counts of defamation. In December 2022, the two sides reached a settlement, with Heard paying Depp $1 million. Cooper, a former news producer with Vice and the BBC and the creator of the recent documentaries The Mystery of Marilyn Monroe, the unheard tapes in Epstein's shadow, Ghislaine Maxwell, is adamant that the docuseries takes a measured, impartial approach to the trial. Depp v. Heard has drawn criticism from both the pro-Depp and pro-Heard camps. A decision was reached. I'm not a lawyer and we're not attempting to change history here, she asserts. We wanted to ensure that we kept our balance and integrity throughout. I'm BBC trained, she continues. I'm not educated to form opinions. Depp v. Heard is not an original work, despite the fact that I directed it. As I was attempting to communicate anything about the world, I was trying to maintain balance because it's so entrenched in me to do so. Really, it's about popular culture. It developed as a result of my personal viewing habits and preoccupation with the live feed. I was really drawn in. I was always watching it. While I was on Zoom, I was observing it in the background. After talking to all of my friends about it, I realized that they all had different perspectives. I guess I was startled by my own behavior and wondered if I should inform Netflix that I really wanted to do this. My next statement to Netflix was, I don't want to do any interviews. They simply let me to do it.